Hi, and welcome back to your weekly inspiration with me, your host, Tanya Melendez, the Tarot Life Coach. Today is April 25th. 8th, 2014, and we are having and experiencing a new moon and a solar eclipse, the Ring of Fire. So this is a wonderful time for us to set powerful, powerful intentions. I also like to call dream seeds and watch them come to fruition with the next full moon. But before we get go any further let's talk about which cards we're going to use so today we're going to use for the mantra message will be from my beloved archangel michael and then our message will come from the angel therapy as well as our tarot but again before we go any further let's go ahead and take it to prayer just breathing in good breathing in grace breathing in gratitude knowing that this divine perfect moment is divine and perfect and in this divine and perfect moment, I know that peace, prosperity, love, gratitude, abundance, and vitality flow in, through, and as me. And as I know that this is my truth, I absolutely know this is the truth for everyone listening and watching. So I bless our body temples, our minds, our bodies, and our spirits. I bless these body temples that hold our organs. I bless our skin, our cells, our hair. I bless it all, calling it good, calling it vit vital, calling it healthy and well and in a state of complete well-being. And as I bless our body temples, I also bless our homes where we dwell, where we sleep, where we eat, where we create, and where we come to be who and what we are. So I bless this dwelling that we call home, no matter where and what it is. And I bless everyone in it. I bless our relationships, our animals, all of our comfort and all of our food. I bless it all, calling it so, so wonderfully blessed. How grateful we are to live in the overflow of abundance that flows in and through and as our homes. And I bless our co-workers and our work, what it is we are on this planet to do, knowing that it is blessed. We are shining examples of living a life on purpose, living a life of passion, and living a life of good. And so I bless our work, our co-workers, what it is we are here to do. And I bless our incomes. And as I bless our incomes, I bless our overflow, our bank accounts. I bless it all, calling it good, knowing that as we open and receive, we are multiplying our good. We are multiplying our greatness and we are multiplying it by sharing all of who, what, and what all of who and what we are with the world. So I bless it all, calling it good. And I'm just so grateful to speak these words, to know these words, to trust these words, knowing that we are all divinely guided right where we need to be at the right and perfect time. I know as we are guided, we are provided, as we are also knowing that we are guarded and protected. And so I bless it all, calling it all good. I release these words knowing all is well and so are we. I let it be and so it is. Woohoo! All right, so that prayer was feeling so good. And I really do hope that you connect with the prayers because they are words from my heart to yours. So bless your week, bless your body, bless it all, calling it all good. So let's get right in and see what our beloved Archangel Michael has to say for us on this solar eclipse new moon day. So let's see, let's see, let's see. All righty, I'm so grateful to receive this divine message from Archangel Michael. Okay, all right. Just like I said, we are guarded and protected. I love that we got this. And it says, my prayer, thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that we are safe and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that what's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. Yes, yes, yes. You are guarded and protected, beloveds. Trust this. Know this. And also know that as you are guarded and protected, you are also guided and provided. Rest assured in that all needs are met. Say it again. All needs are met. All right. 
So let's go ahead and see what the angel therapy have to say since we're already on a roll with this solar eclipse. So this solar eclipse again is in the time of Aries. I, I'm sorry, I did it almost again. The time of Taurus. Last week I made the slip of saying that we were in, still in the time of Aries. When I mean to say Taurus, we're in the time of Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Now it's imprinted in my brain. So we are in the time of Taurus and this energy is all about Again, strength, perseverance, persistence. I always say positive. You stay, believe that you are positive, persistent, and patient. We have to remember patience as well. Because sometimes we want what we want and we want it right now. But you have to know what you are looking for will find you. I always say my favorite Tanyaism is what is for you will find you. So trust that. Trust that you will will find exactly what you're looking for. So if it's you're looking for fear, you're going to find fear. If you're looking for love, you're going to find love. Okay? So let things come to you. It's another Tanyaism. So wait till you see these cards. So the first card we get is manifestation power. This is the time. The new moon is all about new beginnings. This is the time when you set those intentions and those dream seeds so they can manifest with the full moon, which will be in May on the 14th. So now is the time to set these dream seeds. Do it tonight. If you can, go out into the energy of the, the new moon, which is a dark moon. You won't be able to see it, but still go out there and speak your intentions out into the universe and allow them to come back to you because this is manifestation power. And this card says, use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. Let it happen. Let it come to you because things will come to you. Put your good intention, put your love, put your light into it and watch it manifest. Now is the time. And then the second one we get is the power animal. I know for the last week I've been dreaming, dreaming, dreaming about dolphins. So that's my hint of where I'm going next. And it says your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. So if there's any animals that you're drawn to, and it could just be your family pet, whatever that energy is, this is also a time to connect to that animal energy. Like I've mentioned, mine is either the dolphin or as you can see here the butterfly I've received this beautiful amethyst butterfly from my beloved brother in Norway so I'm so grateful to be wearing this beautiful butterfly because it is the symbol of my life right now I am claiming my wings I am ready to go the crystallis has broken through so again power animal what animal speaks to you and also i know dolphins are very spiritual animals so i'm so grateful that i have been given this blessing of these power animals that are coming to me in my dreams so again pay attention to the signs and symbols and things it could be a bird it could be you know a mouse it could be a butterfly, it could be a grasshopper, it could be a dragonfly, it could be a variety of things, but allow your power animal to speak to you and listen and not with these ears, but with this ear, okay? Because then the next card is listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. Listen, beloveds. Listen, listen, listen. Now is the time. Again, the moon cycles always bring time of deep inner wisdom and inner guidance. But if you're not listening, you're not going to hear it. And that's why it's important to trust your intuition. Sometimes you get those messages that are, 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 that come from nowhere that says, go to that store, go to this place, call this person. That is your intuition telling you, don't dismiss it, make the call, go that way. That is your divine guidance system giving you information. You must listen, pay attention. And it is my gift that I have a finely tuned instrument for listening because I choose to listen and I focus in on that listening. That's what makes me psychic. That's what makes me a medium. But each of us have the gift of intuition. We know mothers definitely have that intuition, but men have it as well. And children are the best intuitive channels. So again, Give yourself time to really check in. What is your intuition telling you? All right, since we are on a roll, let's go ahead and see what the tarot have to say for us this week. And again, we are about to roll right into May. So we are ready to whew, spread our wings, just like I said with the butterfly. So where do you need to spread your wings? Where do you need to open? You know, it's sometimes that leap of faith is the scariest, scariest thing. 
Now, I know I'm not a good swimmer, right? And I always like to have one foot where I can still touch the bottom. But that is me being afraid of, and the magnificent, of course, of the ocean. However, I know I'm always supported, especially in water that floats, so I can always tread. And you know, I'm not gonna go so far out <laughs> that I, you know, of course, can get taken under, but I can allow myself to float. I can allow myself to to know that I'm still going to be okay even if my feet don't touch. It's that unknown, it's that unfamiliar that scares us and keeps us with one foot on the ground. Take the leap and know that the net will be there. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out of the familiar. Take the leap. This is what your transformation is. That's when you get your wings, when you say, okay, universe, Take care of me. Show me the way. You remember that famous quote, you don't have to see the whole stairway. You just have to take the first step. Okay? So let's see what our tarot has to say. All right. Ooh, this is so good. All right. So the first card we get here is the nine of cups. Cups represent emotions, feelings, all of those things are within us. And because they're here on the shelf above his head, what thoughts are coming in? It's not mostly about thoughts, but it's about the emotion. So what are you connecting to emotionally? What have you put on the shelf? It's time to bring those things off the shelf and bring them to fruition. Allow yourself to, again, tap into your dream self. But this is your time, remember? of manifestation. So allow your, those dream seeds to come out. Allow those dream seeds to take root. Now remember, if you go and plant the dream seeds, trust that they're being watered by your love and by your light. If you keep going and checking on the dream seed, is it growing, is it growing, is it growing? It's never going to grow. So put it out there and let the universe take care of the rest, okay? That's what this card means. And again, that goes perfectly with our manifestation card. And then we get, do, 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 do. I love that we got this card. We get the lover's card. So again, trust and know that this is a time of love. Remember, when you want to be in love, you must be in love with you. Really important thing that I learned that really shifted my life that has to do with intimate relationships and about being in a relationship and wanting into a relationship is this. Intimacy is not just that connection with another person. Intimacy is this, in to me I see. So intimacy is really about you connecting to you. So if it's love that you want, be love. Again, let one foot come off the bottom of the floor. Allow yourself to move out of your comfort zone. Try, allow, accept, and align with love, and then love will allow, align, and accept with you. And so I'm so glad that we got this card. So that means some love, romance is in the air. Welcome it, be open to it, express it, enjoy it, embrace it, and experience it, okay? All right, and then our last card, is the Eight of Pentacles. You know, Pentacles represent value, worthiness, as well as abundance. What are you putting your attention on? What are you working on? You can see here he's working diligently on what it is. He's putting his love, his attention, his time into it. What are you putting your love, time, and attention into right now? And here's all of the ones that are done. So what are you putting your time and attention into now? Because we know what you put your attention on grows. Again, it's not just the attention, but it's the energy behind it. Or if you're wanting love, just say, I am open and ready to receive love. If you're wanting abundance, I am open and ready to receive abundance. But with that also comes the feeling behind it. You have to know that you deserve it. You have to know that it is for you, not against you. So accept it. That's what acceptance is, allowing something to come to you. So what a powerful, powerful message we got. We know we are guarded and protected. We know it is time for us to manifest as well as our power animal coming to us and listening to our intuition. So know that you are blessed. You are love. You are light. You are shining so bright. And I'm just so grateful to be sharing this videos with you. I will be having an announcement soon. I am in the midst of traveling. I can't wait. And I look forward to seeing you again really soon. So until next time, everybody, so much love, so much light, peace and blessings.